Number three is our Winnipeg 2045 development plan calls for more green space and natural areas in the city of Winnipeg to protect and enhance the natural environment and mitigate climate change impacts. How would you support these goals? That's three. That's not a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you again. Um, I would argue that the most important one um, is number three, green space, and trees particularly. The most important word for me in city planning and in the environment is the word enough. You hear a lot of candidates tell you about things they've done or would like to do, but the question I always come back to, if it doesn't keep us under 1.5, or proportionally under 1.5 degrees uh, temperature change, then it's not enough. Because we're not looking for varying degrees of disaster. We're looking for sufficiency to end the crisis. And Winnipeg is the perfect city to do it. So what I would like to focus on is trees and green space, because I think that there is nothing that human beings have ever wrought that is more beautiful or useful than anything that Mother Nature has made, and probably the perfect climate change fighter is a tree. And that we have to shift, hopefully, more people can get on board with that, it's the least controversial one, and given the climate crisis and the need to get major reductions sooner, when you map it all out, if my friends at Project Drawdown are, are right, you can't do anything locally that's faster than that. But we have to treat it as important as everything else, certainly as important as the roads and the concrete. So what I'm proposing is that we make trees basic infrastructure, that the city create a natural capital budget, that the natural capital budget would be in a ratio for every dollar we spend on pouring concrete and paving things over, we would have to be required in a formula, and it's going to be part of my analysis, so I don't get all the details, that we would have to invest in the natural capital budget, and the first thing would be trees. And the targets would be set to get massive greenhouse ga gas reduction. Now, I think this is complementary to some of the things that Sean, because there's a lot of other good ideas here, but my focus shift is, if we're not prepared to treat our trees as more basic infrastructure and fund it as a priority than anything else, then we're missing the point.